I'm starting the bulletin with top updates coming in from Israel. The Jewish state is now gearing up for a potential multi-front war, days after a devastating onslaught from Gaza's Hamas regime. Over 1,200 Israelis have been killed in the Hamas attacks so far. On the other hand, 900 have been reported killed in Gaza, which has come under intense bombardment from Israel's retaliatory strikes. Now, Israel has also reported finding bodies of some 1,500 Hamas militants who infiltrated the Israeli territory on the 7th of October. In the latest, the Israeli forces say some 300,000 soldiers have been deployed and are now stationed near the Gaza Strip. The Israeli army says it is getting ready to execute the mission given by the Israeli government, indicating that a ground invasion will begin soon. Now, as we speak, Israel is continuously pounding what it claims to be Hamas hideouts in the densely populated Gaza Strip. Over 2,300 such airstrikes have been carried out so far, in which Israel claims killing top Hamas commanders. Hamas has also confirmed the death of some of its top commanders in Israeli attacks. But the militant group has nonetheless threatened to begin executing hostages now if Israel continues to strike civilian households without prior warning. Hamas is holding up to 150 hostages and these include Israeli and foreign nationals. Amid the relentless Israeli bombardment on Gaza, Hamas carried out fresh rocket attacks on southern Israel. Israeli security forces have residents in Ashkelon to head to safe rooms after reports of more militants crossing from Gaza following the rocket fire. Civilians in Gaza, on the other hand, are scrambling to flee the narrow strip of land, which has now been blockaded completely by Israel. Egypt, on its part, is moving to contain the mass exodus of Gazans into its soil. Egypt's military had taken up new positions close to the border between Egypt and Gaza and was running patrols to monitor the area. Now, Israeli bombardments have already halted crossings at the only exit point from the Palestinian enclave. Israeli security forces ordered a total siege of Gaza late on Monday, cutting off essential supplies like, waf like food, water and electricity for thousands. And the United Nations has called the siege of Gaza a violation of international law. European nations have also advised Israel against the same. Israel has called up 300,000 reservists and massed tanks and other heavy armor, both near Gaza and on the northern border with Lebanon and Syria, as it endures attacks from multiple fronts now. After three days of clashes with militants on the northern border with Lebanon, Israel reported munitions fired from Syria in the Golan Heights area, which its forces countered with retaliatory fire. Now, amid the fresh attacks and counterattacks, the Israeli forces have confirmed the arrival of the first tranche of advanced ammunition, and this has come in from the United States. The U.S. aid arrived in Israel, as President Joe Biden called the attacks by Hamas an act of sheer evil. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is also set to visit Israel on Thursday to meet with senior Israeli leaders in a show of solidarity and support. At least 14 U.S. citizens have been killed so far in Israel with an unspecified number of Americans missing or being held hostage. The United States has conceded to intelligence failure over the surprise attack on Israel. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says the U.S. intelligence did not see anything that suggested an attack of this type was going to unfold. 